Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to draw the roof in section. So you need to have your short section. Your long section should be over here. That's your 44 foot section. We're going to draw a roof that looks like this. So make sure you're on your section that's 24 foot 6. So if you put a quick dimension on this, just to make sure you're correct, it should be 24 foot 6. So the first thing you want to do is draw a line from outside of exterior sheathing to outside of exterior sheathing. That line is also 24 foot 6. First thing you want is your bottom cord. So offset that bottom cord three and a half inches up. That's a two by four. That's going to be your bottom cord, and then just finish that off by drawing lines on both ends. So there's your bottom cord two by four. <coughs> Next thing we need is that top cord. We need that top cord, and we're going to draw that at a four twelve slope. So when I select the line, I want to make sure I'm on the endpoint, and I type in at twelve comma four. And that's going to be that top cord at a four twelve slope. I also offset that line three and a half inches, and that's now my top cord. Uh, in class, we went through and the the um, offset or the overhang of the roof is going to be 16 inches. So if I take my outside of exterior sheathing and offset 16 inches, I'm going to take outside of exterior sheathing and offset it 16 inches and extend that line to your 16-inch line right there, and then I'll fill at the top. If I have a top of my top cord, I can fill it with this line, trim all this up, and this dimension here is going to be 16 inches. That's 16 inches. I also have a fascia, and my fascia is going to be uh, 2 by 6. So if I offset that same line 1.5 inches in, and then connect a line drawing those two, then offset that line 5.5 inches and go downward, that's my two by six. I can extend these lines to meet up with that, trim this line back, and then draw the X through it, showing that it's dimensional lumber. That's my fascia board. So this fascia is two by six, and my overhang is still 16 inches. So that fascia came to the inside of that. Uh, one horizontal line from the bottom of fascia to the house, it'll be perpendicular, that's gonna be my soffit. <coughs> that's my soffit right there. Uh, the only thing we're missing on this section so far is the sheathing. So I have to offset the top cord half an inch. My sheathing is half an inch thick. And then, whoops. And then I just draw a line straight up from my fascia just to finish this thing off. And that's half inch. Um, for some classes, this might be at seven and a quarter inches. For my class, we're having a 14 inch heel height. So the heel height is from the underside of the bottom cord to the top of the top cord. So if I draw a line 14 inches, it ends up right there. I'll just move all of this up. Move my soffit, my fascia, my dimension, everything. From the top of top cord, which is there, make sure you get the intersection point to the top of that line there. That's going to be 14 inches. I'll put a dimension on there for you so you can double check that too. Underside of bottom cord to top of top cord is 14 inches. This is also a 2x4, so if I offset it, offset it 3.5, and, and then trim that line up, and then trim this line up here too. That's uh, the dimension came with it. It's, it is actually 14 inches. I can take this whole thing now and mirror it. So if I mirror it like this, and I select the center point of this line that we drew previously, that 24 foot 6 line, I can just mirror it like this, get that over there, and then fill it everything. So if you use F for fillet, select your top of sheathing, and then fill it top of top cord, and fill it the t underside of the top cord. You're good to go. That's your roof. The only thing you need to put in there still is your how truss. So if you go from drawing a line from the center there to the midpoint and continue this line to the midpoint there, midpoint there. These are all two by four. So if I offset them, if I offset them 1.75, one and three quarter. Each direction. And then erase that center line. And then trim all these lines up. And then trim these lines up top here too. Oops. Trim that and then extend this one. Just that one needs to be extended a little bit. And then mirror those two sides over on the center point of that roof. There's your roof truss. Uh, next one we're going to do, we're going to show you how to, uh, actually no, I'll, I'll show you to you right now, how to transfer these heights over to your other elevation. Here's my other, or my other section. Here's my other section. So what I do now is I know the top of my roof. The top of my roof is the top of the sheathing. So if I take a point right there, 
transfer that straight across and take the underside of my fascia, which is right there, take that line straight across. That's what I want. And then this is still a 16 inch overhang, so I have to offset the outside of my sheathing 16 inches. And take that 16 inches and extend these lines up. Extend that, extend that, and then trim. That is my the roof of my other section. And that if you want to get the make sure you have the correct height, that's the correct height there. So hopefully this helps. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Hasta luego.